ഉണ്ണിമായ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഇയർ ബി എ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് പയ്യന്നൂർ കോളേജ് ദി വോയ്സ് സുരേഷ് മേനോൻ ദർ ഈസ് ഫുട്ബോൾ ദർ ഈസ് മാസിസം ദർ ഈസ് ഓണം ദർ ഈസ് വിഷു ക്രിസ്മസ് ആൻഡ് റംസാൻ ആൻഡ് ലൈക്ക് എ ഗോൾഡൻ ത്രെഡ് റണ്ണിങ് ത്രൂ ഓൾ ദിസ് ദർ ഈസ് ഇഷുദാസ് മലയാളീസ് ഹു ഹാവ് നത്തിങ് എൽസ് ഇൻ കോമൺ ഷെയർ ഹിം വിത്ത് പ്രൈഡ് when a ceo mocks his secretary with tamasam ende varivan why are you so late in coming he knows it sounds ludicrous he is taking the song out of context but both realize its import nothing further need be said the ceo has made his point in a language the secretary identifies with thus it is wherever malayali slip Eshudas is the common currency. Malayali samajams around the world measure their effectiveness by the number of times they are able to organize a Eshudas concert because there are two or three in the same city because the legend goes if you have two Malayalis you already have three opinions they can't agree on anything except Eshudas he is part of the collective consciousness of a people. Malayalis have similar stories about how they first wooed their wives and girlfriends with his songs. They can remember their first rejections whenever they hear other songs. Their eyes cloud over when they hear him singing songs about mothers or sisters. The scenes in the movies where this occur might be tacky beyond measure, but that hardly matters. And naturally enough for a man who has sung over 40,000 songs, not all of them in Malayalam, there is one for every situation, songs of innocence and songs of experience. When approaching his 60th year, Eshudas made a foray into experimental fusion music and actually sang in English for a South American composer. If there is such a thing as a state treasure in Kerala it is Eshudas it could be a terrible burden to carry but the singer himself carries it lightly on one morning at his Tiruvannamalai residence in Chennai he put it in perspective for me music brings people together he explained and if mind does then that is the force of the music i am merely an instrument of a higher power Sincerity rescues the statements from being mere platitudes. Eshudas is aware of his power of what it means to be the best non-Malayali from a region in the country that has produced scientists, writers, sportsmen and artists of international stature. And even as head of state K.R. Narayanan, equally he is humbled by the thought of being so many things to so many people. They bring me love everywhere he says of Malayalis of the Indian diaspora it means that i feel at home wherever i am the reverse is equally true most malayalis feel at home wherever they are in the world the moment a eshda songs waft through the music system it is said of great sportsmen that they are incapable of an ugly stroke eshudas is incapable of an ugly note he is among the most photographed of people the thick hair the beard the soft mouth and sensitive eyes speak of a man who is at peace with himself he has taught himself sanskrit and a host of other languages in which he sings In the 70s and 80s much was made of his dodgy accent when he sang hindi songs yet he delivered some of the most memorable songs of that period from nisagama pani for the movie anand mahal which never saw the light of day to jab deep jalayana chit chor when amida bachchan reigning king of hindi cinema used his voice for ala Rajesh Khanna the deposed king used him for Majnoon the first movie flopped and the second was never released it didn't bother Eshadas whose constituency was in the south when SP Balasubramanyam one of the most talented singers the country has ever produced performed with Eshadas he thought it was a privilege to sing with this genius The two most successful singers in India have forged a relationship that goes beyond their profession. He is my brother, says Eshadas of the younger man. Through four decades of being the voice, Eshadas stuck to what he is best at. He kept his feet and vocal cords above all turmoil, political or otherwise. Malayalis somehow find that reassuring. 
they like their icons to be apolitical above the strife as it were when prem nazir world record holder with over 800 films as hero entered politics he was roundly defeated in an election malayalis loved him for what he was not for what he could be so it is with yesudas his struggles are now part of folklore his attempts at breaking religious barriers have made it possible for kerala to move towards true secularism he is strongly identified with sabrimala and lord ayappa in mid 2001 when he gave his first concert at london's royal albert hall there was a request for the song guruvayur ambala nadail oru divasam nan pogum i will pray at guruvayur temple someday born a christian he is denied entry to the holiest krishna temple in kerala he accepts the situation with mixture of humor and humility that is his hallmark the humor comes from triumphing over the slings and arrows of outrageous fortune that might have destroyed a lesser man the humility springs from a deep sense of understanding that he is not just a gifted one but the chosen one god chose me and i am grateful for that he says matter of factly this man who is aware of his talent and its source it is a lesson he hopes to pass on to his children who lives in the lap of luxury i tell them of my past of my struggles he says all this pointing to the house his many awards didn't spring from somewhere i want them to have their feet firmly on the ground in the ashdas book of virtues level headedness is high on the list alongside love for parents and family and the conviction that the fear of the lord is the beginning of wisdom there were the virtues that sustained him through his days of trial born in cochin on 10th january 1940 yesudas slave of the lord had his first guru in his father augustine joseph a popular singer and stage actor their house in cochin was open to friends and relatives without discrimination then as the actor fell on bad days the visitors dried up when yesudas gives life to the philosophical lyrics of men like vailar he doesn't have to dig too deep within himself for the emotion his is a life lived hard if method acting is an accepted technique in the actor's repertoire yesudas method singing bringing to the surface emotions from experiences few go through probably places him at a level others cannot reach it is not something the singer dwells on I do not analyze my singing he says adding perhaps i think about these things before or after a song but when i sing i just get carried away by the moment and it, it might have all been so different now with nearly half a century of public performances behind him it might be difficult to imagine a yesudas being lost to the world talent will out we will tell ourselves and feel vindicated by yesudas career but it could have gone wrong for one yesudas nearly had to drop out of music college because he didn't have the money to pay his fees for another when a film director ks antony came seeking a fresh voice for his movie kalpadugal footprints it was yesudas friend vikram chandran he wanted to use but chandran suggested yesudas name and that was how it began Eshuda sang in the movie about one caste one religion one god with considering his state then drip with irony his christianity made him unacceptable among brahmins who dominated carnatic music and curiously in 1961 when the song was recorded those words from the kerala reformer sri narayana guru had already become his life creed Advaita the philosophy was born in Kerala in Yesudas it found a modern evangelist i keep in touch with chandran says yesudas he has the run of my house he visits me when i am in kerala or i visit him to this day i don't know what made him suggest my name when the director came seeking him 
on such chance encounters are great careers built when esudas decide to come to madras to seek his fortune his friend a taxi driver gave him a lift to the railway station and lent him a few rupees in madras he often drank tap water to fill his stomach and simply tighten his mundu when that didn't help Today I teased my wife about it asking her if she would have married me had she met me in my tap water drinking days it is necessary to be able to laugh at such personal misfortune to come to terms with it he says sitting in his room surrounded by the photograph of his gurus and his many awards and citations it is hard to believe that this man had to struggle at all how would they not know once he opened his mouth to sing that they were in the presence of a blessed one recalling those days his eyes soft and expressive at all times can't keep the irony out semanagudi srinivasa ayer the doyen of carnatic music allowed him to stay in his car shed eshudas repaid the kindness by cleaning the car every day There was no question of entering the house or being fed anything the great singer and his family might eat years later when esudas now a star visited semanagudi he was received with all the respect and excitement his status now received he was fed and feted and given a choice of drinks tea coffee or horlicks years of privation having sharpened his sense of irony esudas might have been forgiven for speculating on the difference a cup of tea or a glass of horlicks might have made to his life some years earlier in the car shed i was never alone i had my dreams for company esudas recalls did the suffering test his faith cause him to question the path he had chosen to follow a path where music was his god no he says adding gently just because you or i can't see the pattern does not mean that the pattern does not exist this is the ishudas of today speaking a man at the top of his profession an area where spirituality is what matters he breaks off at concerts on occasions to deliver a lecture on god and on many ways of realizing him there is no rancor today he sees the early suffering Trivandrum all radio decided his voice was not good enough for radio as part of the necessary pain that man has to go through to make achievements worthwhile it was only when chembai vaidyanatha bhagavadar placed a ponnade on him at a concert that the more liberal among the classical singing community brahmins began to accept esudas the singer was determined to play a lonely fero On the one hand he was a popular singer on the other a serious carnatic musician who put in hours of practices every day he gives two different types of concert therefore as a popular musician and as a classical one as a cricket fan he cannot be unaware of the cricketing analogy it is as if he is a leading player in both one day cricket and test cricket classical music is where all music begins as well as what all music aspires to he says before going into a highly personalized explanation of what the musical notes mean to him sometimes i am accused of making classical music too accessible by my style of singing i take that as a compliment if i can have the ordinary man humming pavana guru or vada bin ganapadim then that is an achievement The two-way traffic initiated by the Ishudas must rate as one of his most important contributions to music. On the one hand, raising the tenor of popular music by using classical techniques and on the other, making classical music accessible by popular technique. It is useful to remember that in the Western classical tradition, the distinction didn't exist. Mozart's music was popular. it was played in bars and the marketplace during his lifetime i try not to record any movie songs during the music festival season in chennai says esudas that is december january he is a sought after performer in all sabhas 
There is another reason too. I tend to get angry and a bit impatient when recording some of the modern songs and I like to keep my mind clear during the period, he says. In recent years, the Sabas have been paying obeisance to Mammon. Sponsors have made passes available to their near and dear ones, resulting in much noise off stage. Often children run about in the auditorium, unmindful of the performance on stage. At a recent show, Yeshudas hit a high note, kept it there, and cheated these children in an aside. Point made, he went back to the note and continued where he had left off. It was sheer genius. So too was his performance at the Royal Albert Hall in London. I sensed the presence of many gifted musicians who had performed there before me, he recalled. I thought of my gurus. I thought of all the things that had to fall in place before I could get there. Once the concert started, my mind was clear of everything else. And when they sang the hit from the movie Nadi, he threw a bridge across generations. Many who were children in the 60s when the song was first aired are now in position of authority in the UK. The identification was complete. They had gone through school and college, early jobs and marriage and children. But the song hadn't changed. Neither had the singer. Like many Eshuda songs, it helped the listener find out a more. In remembrance of things past, Marcel Proust has his hero's memories flooding back to him on tasting a kind of cake with his coffee. The smell, the taste brought it all back. For Malayalis, the world over, Eshuda song does the same thing. Memories come flooding back. It is impossible to listen to a liambel without being transported away from the present. This is incidentally one of Eshuda's own five favorite songs. Others are Kandunir Muttumai, Manikavya Vine Mayan, Prajidam and Pramadavanam. Curiously, these are some of the favorites of the modern generation too. Sons hearing their fathers sing accept these songs as part of their own lives. And so it goes on. I am like a child playing with pebbles on the sand with the vast ocean of music in front of me, says Eshudas, trying to put his achievements in perspective, perhaps, but for the rest, he has provided a glimpse into divinity. To paraphrase Goit, when the mind is at sea, an old song provides a raft. About the author, Suresh Manon is a prominent journalist, writer and editor. His presence in the domain of Indian media is marked by his newspaper columns on cricket, politics, literature, art and related fields. His notable works include Pataudi, Nawab of Cricket 2013, Sachin, Genius Unplugged 2011, Bishan, Portrait of a Cricketer 2011 and other edited works like Western India Almanac of various years. The Voice is a short column on the legendary singer K.J. Eshudas. The text shares how his dreams kept his spirits high during his years of adversity. The writer observes the various ways in which Eshudas has become synonymous with the Malayali sensibilities of everyday life. Glossary and Explanations Ludicrous, foolish and unreasonable and therefore amusing. Wood Sought favors or support, tacky, cheap and flashy, for a, a first attempt or a sudden attempt to enter an unfamiliar area, perspective, opinion or attitude, platitude, an old, dull or stale statement, diaspora, a group of people living away from their native land, waft, to move through the air or a smell or a sound, dodgy, Faults or in a bad condition. Deposed, removed from position or office suddenly and forcefully. Turmoil, a state of great noise or confusion. Icons, a person or thing that is considered to be a symbol of something. Hallmark, a characteristic that is typical of somebody. Strife, angry or violent disagreement. 
repertoire the set of skills a person has vindicated proven right evangelist a person who enthusiastically tries to convince people about a cause doin an expert or a senior in a field rancor bitterness or resentfulness especially long standing fitted honor or entertain lavishly privation a state in which food and other essential are lacking picturesque attractive analogy a comparison between two things showing similarity tenor a fairly high singing voice sabha a council or gathering of people obeisance worshipful respect mammon wealth that has a negative influence chidded scold criticize paraphrase rewarding of a statement that has already been made raft a boat or a floating platform comprehension question who or what does the voice refer to what did sp balasubramanyam say about his experience of performing with yashodas what is the lesson that yashodas shares with his children who was yashodas first guru what does yashodas say when asked about his singing technique yashodas nearly had to drop out of music college why how did yashodas get the opportunity to sing in film director k s andrani's movie kalpadugar what was the event that made the carnatic musicians community accept yashodas into their fold what is the cricket related comparison that the author uses to describe yashodas two contrasting concert styles the author notes two important contributions made by yashodas to classical and popular music what are they why does yashodas avoid recording movie songs during the december january period what analogy does yashodas use to describe his achievements paragraph questions explain how malayalis make yashodas a part and parcel of their life according to the author what are yashodas contributions towards building a secular atmosphere in kerala present two instances from the ex- ex- script that highlights yashodas humility what help yashodas breathe life into philosophical songs such as those penned down by vailar describe yashodas early days at madras describe the irony perceived by yashodas regarding his interactions with the singer semanagudi srinivas iyer what is the current situation prevailing in musical sabhas In this context give an example of how Yashodas managed an interruption during his performances. Essay questions. Why are the songs sung by Yashodas appealing to all Malayalis, old and young alike? Bring out the difference between how Yashodas the other perceive his ununiversal popularity. It is argued in the voice that Yashodas faced religious barriers in the early days of his career. In this context critically comment on the situation that existed in the field of carnatic music in the 1960s describe the trials and tribulations that yashodas had to undergo as a part of his career in music how are those trials and contribution connected to the socio cultural context in kerala